everyone. Thanks so much for joining me. My name is Susan Timchak, and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And I'd like to welcome you here. If you're a brand new subscriber, thanks so much for stopping by. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, that little red button. And then after you hit that, there'll be a little notification bell next to that. If you click on that, then you can choose how many times or when you want to be notified. So I'd appreciate it if you would click that, subscribe, share this video. By sharing this video, that helps me to create more videos and more sharing ideas. So if you're a returning subscriber, thanks so much for coming back. What I want to share with you today is an upcoming class that I have. Um, the class is going to be held this Saturday. Um, let me look at the calendar here without an avalanche of things falling. <laughs> You know how that is, right? So the class is going to be held this Saturday on the 16th of February, 2019. The class is going to be an open house style class. It's going to actually be a card buffet. So I've had a few questions as to what is a card buffet? Well, it's just like when you go to a restaurant and you go to a food buffet. You get to take your plate and choose what you want to eat. So in this instance, you're going to choose which cards you want to create. So you'll be able to create five cards. And then if you choose to make any additional cards, then there'll be an additional cost for those cards. So you can come for as long or as short of a time that you want. So I said it's open house which it's 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., okay? And the cost is $20 to make um, the five cards. And again, your choice in what you want to make. So um, I just spent the whole, almost pretty much, um, what time is it now? 4.30. I must have spent the last five hours creating cards, and um, they are not all my designs. I was inspired by other demonstrators and some Pinterest boards and searching around some of them. I almost created like they were, maybe a few little changes to them, but um, I hope you're going to like them. So I wanted to share them with you because I don't have a lot of um, people that are attending yet and it's already Sunday and the class is going to be held the end of this week. So I have everything cut and prepared and ready to go. So I hope you can join me. Let's take a look at what your buffet selection is going to be. Now, usually when you go to a restaurant, they'll have a whole list of things, what is on their buffet. But this being card creating, kind of hard to do that. So maybe a visual will help you decide that you definitely want to come and attend. And depending on how this goes, I'd like to do this every month if possible. I know a lot of people have a hard time to attend a class on a weekday. So this is going to be held on Saturday for those of you that just want to come out for an hour, two hours, three. I'm going to have some refreshments and I'm going to have some snacks because we all know as we stamp, we get a little hungry. So um, it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's take a look, shall we? Now the first one is a note card and this is using our new um, cake stamp set and doing a little bit of watercoloring with that. So if you don't have, now this did come from uh, Jackie Bolas. I did copy this from um, her video. She has amazing videos. So Jackie Bolas, thank you so much for sharing your talents. And I thought this was great. So it's a little note card that you'll create. That could be a choice. Next one is this, and can you see that little shimmer? I'm not sure if the camera oh I don't think it's picking it up but we did a little shimmer well you will do a little shimmer on the background and we're bringing back what is old back to new again so if many of you remember um, tearing paper and masking and doing the side of that that's how this card is done and you'll notice these cards are fairly simple um, a few of them may have a little more steps in them a little bit of embossing maybe um, with the big shot things like that uh, some die cutting but um, I wanted to keep it simple so anybody can come, whether you are experienced or you're brand new. And um, this is a second selection you can choose. And we use the, um, you can use the Wink of Stella to do some spritzing on it. So you're going to learn a few new techniques too. 
So for those of you that are cat lovers, I have the new cat stamp and punch, but if cats aren't your thing, you can choose to do the dog style one. No, that didn't sound right, dog style. No, okay, this is a clean show. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. You can choose to stamp the dog or the cat, or maybe you love fur animals, you can choose to do both, but they're basically the same style, just one cat, one dog. Okay, next one. This is another one from Jackie Bolas. Um, a little bit of watercoloring after you stamp. I think this is a very um, beautiful card. Simple, but um, playing around with some of our aqua painters. Next up, we're going to do some big shot cutting with this one. And a little embellishment of a leaf. And some beautiful background paper. Look how stunning that one is. I didn't stamp on all of them on the inside. When you're here, you can choose to do that. You can embellish them how you wish. Oh, I was just going to say, I thought that one was upside down, but no, it's not. Okay, excuse me. Um, here's another one. Can you see the wink of Stella on that? This was a card that I demonstrated yesterday at a workshop that I did, and it was very well received. So I thought, let's throw this into the um, card buffet. So look how beautiful that is. And it says, squeeze it for all it's worth. All right. Now next, we have a few variations on this one. Ooh, it's stuck a little bit. Um, you can choose however you want to lay this one out. This is a very basic, simple card. This style went across this way with a little note. And if you can see the little, um, we did a little dry embossing there. We're going to use the paper cutter for that. And here's a second choice. You know, whichever one you want. You want to add a little wink of Stella. She comes to all my events. I'm kind of liking this one, but it's totally up to you. You can do it however you want. This very basic card, very simple. Next up, we're incorporating the January Paper Pumpkin. And we're, I know by the time this class is being done, it'll be after Valentine's Day. But I wanted to incorporate my kit and some of the other embellishments that correspond with the Animal Outing stamp set. So a little thank you big time is done on this card. Isn't that cute? So we're incorporating Paper Pumpkin on that one. Now here's another beautiful card. And this one is done with the Shape Stitch. The ship, yeah, the Stitch Shapes. Look, I was a little backwards there. And uh, we use Wink of Stella on that too, some of the Celebration Ribbon. So I thought that was a beautiful card. And again, when you come to create your cards, if you don't want it to say thank you, you can choose something else that comes in the bucket of um, supplies. So here's another one. This one was from Connie Stewart. So hello, Connie, and thank you for sharing your talents. This is actually Connie's stamp set for her million dollars in sales. And I thought it was a beautiful card. We did the inside. And this is done with watercoloring, and it's on the shimmer paper. I'm not sure if that's showing up either. So you're getting a nice variety of cards to choose from. And finally, we have this one, which is using the a little bit of the, the daubers with a little bit of ink on there and a little bit of dry embossing and, of course, a little, um, a little bit of rhinestone there in the center. So those are going to be the choices. And again, you may choose to make whatever cards on the card buffet that you wish. Try to get these laid out for you. And um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. And I'm hoping that um, we have a great turnout. Let me slide this over a little bit. And, you know, possibly this may be something that um, I'd love to do this every month. So um, what will happen then, I think there's 10 or more cards here to choose from. So some of them that are left over will be brought back for the second chance for the following month. So I think it's a great way to get yourself a variety of cards. I will have envelopes, so I do have envelopes here too. Um, I only ask that you bring your own adhesive because this way you're used to working with adhesives that you like. So you might as well, you know, bring your own adhesive. And um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So let me know down in the comments what you think. If it's something you'd like to attend, maybe you'd like to do this on the go. 
that you can tell me which five cards you'd like to make and I can send you the supplies for it and just pictures of what they look like. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory um, how to do it. A few little tips here and there as to what I did to complete some of the cards, but I think they look great and I'm looking forward to it. So please, if you're interested, you can go on over to my Stampin' Up! website. It's at www.stampinsuecreates.com dot stampin up dot net so everything you could find me on social media is stampin sue create so there's no g in there but um check me out on facebook um depending on where you're watching this i'm on youtube i have a blog but just search stampin sue creates and you'll find me <laughs> you will find me i am in the wolfsburg pennsylvania area so make a day of it and come on do some stamping have some snacks some laughs meet some new people and um who knows where that may take you. And it is celebration time. So if you make a purchase of $50 or more, you'll get free celebration items. And I do have some giveaways and prizes that I'm going to be giving away the day of the event as well. So any questions, you can email me at stampatsucreates at gmail.com. And I look forward to stamping with you real soon. So thanks so much for joining me and have a super day. And I hope to see you very soon. Bye for now.